Hello everybody and welcome back to Deb Creates and today we're going to be looking at knitted dogs. So here we have the English Springer Spaniel and the English Springer Spaniel is from the Allen Dart range so there's the pattern for him and uh, if you've looked at uh, my channel before, you will know that I use a lot of the, uh, the Alan Dart patterns uh, because he's very good at, uh, at, at animals and uh, he's very good at lots of things, but particularly I like his animals and they're really interesting to try. They look really lifelike. So the English Springer Spaniel is probably one of the most popular dogs of the moment. So every time we go for a walk, we see dozens and dozens of English Springer Spaniels and Sprockers. So this is he. There he is. And he's in a particularly nice pose, I think. The fact that he's got that sort of lay down, sort of relaxed look, like uh, like you see dogs lie. So there's his face. Yes. There's the back of him. Small little tail. Which they don't all have that, do they? That uh, this pattern, it might be quite an old pattern. I don't know if they can still do that anymore. So there he is. So um, the English Finger Spaniel, the tricky bits to do on this one were the ears, because this is looping. So if you've never done, if, if you don't know what looping is, or you haven't done anything like that in knitting, you actually have to wrap the wool around. Um, they they tell you to use a pencil. And you wrap the wool around the pencil and then carry, so you do knit into the stitch, wrap it around the pencil, knit it back off, put one stitch over the other. So it's quite a complicated little process there. And you had to do it for the outside and the insides of the ears. So that took a long time. It was really fiddly. So, um, so not for the faint hearted really. Um, but Otherwise than that, we've, we've got some colours put in, in on this one. So um, that's where you just wrap the wall, where you change, you, you, you wrap walls over each other, where you change the colour and that stops you from getting holes in the knitting. And, uh, and then a little bit of embroidery to put on his spots. So his spots are embroidered on. Um, his face, this, this colouring here was all knitted in. And that wasn't too bad, that was quite simple. Um, and uh, he has a bit of makeup around his nose, a little bit of dirt on the ends of his paws, just to, so he doesn't look too pristine, really. Um, I've given him a just a little collar there. That's just a little, that's a cat collar, I think, really. a kitten collar, possibly, that I've used there, um, just from a local pet shop. So uh, you can get them in uh, um, supermarkets, so uh, easy enough to get hold of if, uh, as is nowhere, again, not many places open for us. So, uh, so I'm finding myself with a bit of time on my hands again. So, uh, so uh, we will be seeing some more things on the site soon. But, uh, but uh, I think he's lovely. He's come out really well, and he's lovely. He's got uh, he's got a great face. As I say, brilliant ears, little paw shapings. Oh, and this one has actually paw pads. You actually knit the little pads for his paws as well and stitch them on the back paws because they're showing it uh, you actually make them so um so yeah so there he is the english springer spaniel so um you can knit your own pet knit your own springer spaniel or this pattern could also be used as i say for the um the sprockers for the um the uh the cocker spaniel just make his ears a bit longer and perhaps do him black and white or something like that. You just look at, you know, look at your own dog or a photo and you could easily make any of the spaniels um, from this pattern. And, and, and in fact, you could make any of the other dogs in this shape because the heads are just the same. So you would just make the head the same and then make the body in this shape of a different sort of a dog. So it gives you a lot of options because my, all my other dogs have just been sat up, sort of sat upright. Um, and it's so nice to see a different pattern, really, a different shape for the dog. Um, I also have a pattern for a dog that's standing up. So I am going to have a go at one of those as well very shortly. But coming up next is going to be, um, I've got a fantastic pattern for a cat scarf. 
So that has a cat's head and paws on one end and tail and paws on the other end and then nice stripy body in between. So I've started that, so that's gonna be coming up shortly. So actually something that's quite useful as well. So uh, that'll be on the Christmas presents uh, list, I think. So um, there we have it, the, Cocker Span the Springer Spaniel. And um, if you like my channel, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, as I say, next up, we're gonna have Cat Scarf. And possibly after that, I'm thinking of making the, um, the dog from the AI ad advert. And uh, his name is Tucker, apparently, from the AI advert. So uh, I don't have a pattern, but I have an idea of how to make him. So, um, so we might be looking at that quite soon as well. So thank you for watching, everybody. Bye.